We bought everything, the house, its contents, the car, and the overgrown yard. Before renovations can begin, it's up to us to sort it all out. On today's episode. Hey everybody. Um, if you watched our garage clean out video, you saw all the stuff that was in there and how we had to haul it all out to the curb. So now we need to do a garage clean up um, and that's gonna take a lot of work because we gotta make some space for all the things that we have. If you missed our garage clean out video, be sure to go back and check that out. But if you were watching, then thanks so much for all of your help with identifying a lot of the items that we found in there. We were able to research and sell quite a few of them and we did set some aside for our Etsy shop. I know a lot of you have been asking when is the Etsy shop going to open and what we've realized is that between going to work, renovating a house, and editing videos, we don't have a lot of free time for an Etsy store right now, but we do still have some really really cool things that are eventually going to be in our Etsy shop, so just have a little bit of patience with us and we will get to it. We really need to make some space because right now we're paying for three spaces. We have our rental house, this house with a mortgage and then we also have a storage unit and so we're hoping to turn our garage back into a garage so Hal can move his tools back in here out of storage. Um, we also have to rebuild the roof on this because one thing you might not have realized from our garage cleanout is that there are a few huge holes in this garage roof and so a lot of the items in here were not in the best condition because of that. So that's one of our top priorities right now is to get this garage back in um, good condition so that we can use it as our garage. Yeah, it'd be nice to have all the tools in one place, finally. Instead of three. <laughs> Just found the biggest zip tie I've ever seen. The thing's huge. <laughs> all right, so uh, we have these uh, rebar shelves that are in here. They're still pretty sturdy, but this plywood's got to go. Um, I'm going to take some measurements because I want to rebuild them. Use PVC board so that uh, don't have to worry about rotting or anything like that. Don't have to worry about painting it either. And then uh, clear off all this stuff, get them out, get them sanded and painted, and then bring them back in. Found this whole can full of keys. So looking at these keys a little more, they're actually pretty cool. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Air Canada. TWA. are really pretty. Some of these would make really cool necklaces. You know, people make jewelry out of vintage keys. Yeah, we'll have to look some of them up. I like that one. Yeah, that one's really pretty. Myrtle Desks, High Point, North Carolina, built for business. <laughs> I like the uh, Atlas Keys. Oh, that was an independent lock. Where's the Atlas one? Cleveland, Ohio. I like that too. No, that's not. That's cool shape though. Oh, here. That's a Chicago. Here's the Atlas. Oh yeah, this is the Atlas key. You can actually see Atlas on there. Very cool. None of them fit that lock though. Elgin. That's pretty. Samsonite. I'll have to try that in some of the luggage. I think these are more safe deposit box keys. <laughs> Could be. 
don't think that bank is still around. I'll have to look it up. Another fun find. Ooh, I like that sheep. These are all mailbox keys she probably had over the years. A lot of them look like it. During our garage cleanout video, a lot of you showed interest in these trunks and we still haven't had a chance to go through everything in them so we thought we would do that on camera so you could see with us what we pull out. Um, we know that there are some doilies in here and there was a lot of love for the doilies in the comments so we're excited to take those out and get a closer look and see what else we find. Pretty musty. These are the dog sweaters, which are not salvageable. This one is cute. Unfortunately, a lot of these are in really rough shape. I like that one. I got a jacket that looks like that. That one's really cute, actually. Our dogs are a lot bigger than these, but we do have a couple cats. <laughs> these little boots. Oh my gosh. This is the tiniest little dog booty. Oh, and the, of course, the raincoat. This looks like Chet said. I don't know if that'll fit a cat. Ah, yeah, actually, it might. It looks like it's... Because he doesn't go outside. He doesn't go outside, so he doesn't really need a raincoat, but... <laughs> Here's the doilies that everybody has been asking about. They're in a lot better condition than some of the things that we found out here in the garage. This one is very delicate. So we got a different style here. Oh. Wow. This is like a slip. It looks really old. It's really old and it's really tiny. <laughs> it's like really small. This one has quite a bit of damage, as you can see. Ooh. Here we have some vintage lace. window dressing maybe yeah those are just like plastic right yeah Ooh, this looks pretty wow this is really pretty and it's in really great condition There's some really delicate lace. Doily life. Yes. Here's a little lace doily. Someone will probably tell me this is not a doily. <laughs> like the trim to something. Looks like a really thick spider web. It really does. Made out of grass. Yeah. Okay, this, I'm wondering what's inside here. Does it say? It's just, it's 
It's a piece of fabric. Hmm. It is a stained piece of fabric. <laughs> This is cool. Yeah, that's nice. So we've got two of these. And then there's a bunch of lace in here. If you want to paint a hot rod, you lay it over the roof of the hot rod and then paint it. And then you take it off. I love that book. Our viewers might have a heart attack. <laughs> it goes on, it's going on an antique car. We thought that this box was all doilies because that was what was on top, but once we dug in, we realized it was actually a bunch of vintage lace. All right. What is that? It's a couple really cool things. Oh, that's cool. It's a little illustration. Like, this maybe was going to become an embroidery, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, this is pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh. Uh, that's nice. Mm hmm. It's pretty dirty, but see here? You can see the sketch, and then you, you can see it underneath the flowers where the design was sketched onto the fabric first. That must be what this is too. We found a little tester piece that was made by the previous owner. These are her initials. So we know that everything in this box was collected by her probably between the 60s and the 90s. Air France. What is it? I don't know. Let's open it up and see. Thread. Oh. Vintage French thread. Floss. More like embroidery floss. A lot more yarn. She must have had lots of projects in mind. I can definitely <laughs> relate. Oh my gosh, I have this. <laughs> I have the same pillowcase. <laughs> Something else. Ooh, is that silk? Oh no. This is another really neat box with some embroidery floss in it. It's pretty. We have some more crafty items from France. Okay, we wanted to get a closer look at some of these cute dog outfits. So, first up, we have this little plaid dog onesie. That's adorable. And I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it goes with it. There's no place for the ears to go. So I don't think it's a hat. But those match. <laughs> Then we have, let's see, what is this one? Oh, this is like a little fur cape for your dog. So. It looks warm. It does look very warm. And we know that the woman who used to live here, before she lived in Florida, she lived in New York and she loved dogs. So this is probably some of their outfits from New York. This one's like fur coat on top of fur coat. <laughs> This one looks kind of sporty. <laughs> it has
that's a turtleneck. <laughs> That's really cute. I still think this would fit our cat. Yeah. That one might be a keeper. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is fancy. This is like a really cute, like going about town jacket for your dog. It has a little pocket even. <laughs> put a bone in there. Yeah, and put a little treat in the pocket. And then we have, this one is the one, this matches the jacket that Hal wears in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> Little buffalo plaid. <laughs> and a cozy little sweater. Oh my gosh, I bet she made this. I'm sure she made this for her dog. That's really cute. We are obviously dog lovers. And I know a lot of you out there are dog lovers too. So I hope that you enjoyed this little fashion show. And maybe if you stick around, you'll get to see a cat in a dog sweater. still have to clean all this out. You can see that there's remnants of rodents, it looks like. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. What is this? What the heck is this thing? Not sure what this is. New discovery. It looks like it possibly hooks in to something but then I don't know what this pole does always discovering something new So you can see here, this is not a field of grass. This is the roof to the garage.
got a whole ecosystem up here. Gonna have to scrape it all down. That board's got to go. Luckily, deconstruction is going to go pretty quick. It doesn't just cave in on me. And here's the ceiling that I'm about to straddle so that um, I can push those bushes or those plants and tree limbs and everything else off the edge. Yeah, talk about skating on thin ice. New saying is walking on moldy wood. These DJI cameras are tough. You should see this thing. It's covered in paint and dust. And you just saw it drop 10 feet <laughs> on its head. The real video is me running back and forth trying to film this. Kind of comes up like carpet.
Still got to get to the other side. Almost there. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. I think I better get off this ladder. So it looks like we have some, some branches are cut and just hanging there. Looks like somebody cut the top of that tree off at some point and left the branches there. Some of this stuff is green. I'm pretty sure these are trees growing out of the roof. Then I gotta trim the rest of that back. At least I'm up here now. Not quite as nice as, uh, you know, up there. I want to show you something. Look at the size of these trees growing out of the roof. So that's the base of the tree right there. That's got to be four feet. And there's like three or four of them here. Wow. I got to be really careful right now. 
here's the plan. Guess I'm just gonna have to cut these one by one. Okay, I just started cutting roots. This is what I've got. You can see this root ball here. Okay, like five more to go. <laughs> Wonder if I could replant this. This is probably some great compost. So I'm actually gonna shovel it or rake it or whatever. Get it off the roof and get it down to the ground where it belongs. Okay, so here's where it starts to get sketchy. Um, you might have seen me sitting on those plywood boards, kind of spanning the rafters down below. Um, because if you can see there, that dip, that gray plastic piece is just a patch that I shoved up there one day in the big hole in the ceiling. Um, but you can see the dip in the shingles. That's because the wood is completely rotten and practically gone. Uh, so I got to lay some plywood down so I can, so that I can sit there and um, try and scrape the rest of this off. Try and get the last of these trees gone. Hopefully I'll get to tarping today. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to tarp today. Plastic orange tab nails. Here we go. So you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and nail all the way along here and uh, we'll see how straight I can get it. All right, so here's the finished product. I got both sides tarped. And this is a few days later. We actually got through a rain. So far, it's dry in there. Eventually I'll get new plywood, new shingles, and we'll get that done, but it's going to work for now. If you've been with us from the beginning, we just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much. We never imagined that we would have over 12,000 people along with us for our home renovation journey. Yeah, this started out as a collection of basically home videos to keep track of, like you saw, the 30 open houses we went to, roaming the streets on the weekend looking for <laughs> open houses, uh, Zillow and all the other websites. Um, and then when we actually found this place, it got really interesting. So thank you for watching. Yep. And be sure to stick around because we have a few more treasure box videos coming up that we're excited to show you. And then what we're really excited about is the moment you've all been waiting for. Demo.
and there will be dust. <laughs> Lots of dust. Lots.